All right, hopping on and cruising. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Gadget Jeff. Beep, beep. Hey guys, welcome back to Gadget Jeff TV where I bring you a cool new toy or gadget every week. And today I'm down here at Green Lake, beautiful Green Lake like I used to talk about in my other videos. I used to live down here and I kind of want to move back. Anyways, yeah, today we're going to be discussing the electric skateboard, one of my favorite gadgets simply because it's just awesome and you can get incredible mileage out of one charge. It uses a wireless remote control and you can just cruise for miles. One of the things I used to hate about traditional skateboarding was how light the board was and when you got on it and you started kicking, it would just want to go out from under you and you'd eat shit. So what's cool about the electric skateboard I have here, it actually weighs about 50 pounds with the batteries. So when you stand on it, it's not really gonna go anywhere until you give it instruction to. All right, so yeah, all you gotta do is come down here, press the little on button, then turn on your remote, hop on the little boardy action, whoops supposed to oh it's not on let's try that again all right hop on and we're off and we're off cruising uphill not a problem on the electric skateboard beautiful day in america Yeah, this thing's really awesome to ride, man. You get about six miles on one charge. I'm just holding the throttle in position. If I want to slow down, I push away. And there's the brakes. So other than that high-pitched whine that you hear, it's actually quite quiet. What I really like about, whoa, shit. What I really like about uh, the electric skateboard is it's just the ultimate laziness. I've never been one for uh, really physical exercise, so to speak. I kind of like motor assist. And uh, that's just that. All right, and if we flip the unit upside down, we'll see all the components. You got your main battery unit. Uh, this is where all the weight is, but this is also uh, where all the magic happens. Without the batteries, you would go nowhere quick. Uh, on the back is actually, this is the receiver. It houses all the uh, electronic, you know, I don't know what the right word is. Uh, all circuit boards and digital shit. You know, it's what makes the uh, wireless remote control compatible. It sends the signal to this thing. It grabs the juice from the battery and then it sends it to this motor on the back. This is a 600 watt motor. You can see how there's a, a casing here that covering a belt. That's the drive belt for that wheel. They do make models now that have dual drives or actually four wheel drives, but those are a little more expensive. That'll be down the road on Gadget Jeff TV. Now the patented custom torsion trucks on this skateboard are great. They are very stiff, but not too much for heavier riders like me, allowing for pain-free carving while riding. Me being 215 pounds, I sometimes find it a little stiff, sometimes having to lean my entire weight to get them to turn. I know, I know, I got a big toe, but you know what they say about big toes, right? So yeah, big toes, they're kind of in style here in Washington State. Even our local tow truck companies have them on the front. So yeah, the brand that makes the model I have is called Altered Electric Skateboards out of California. Their website is alteredusa.com. Now they have a lot of different models to choose from. They have 400 watt versions, which are a little weak in my opinion, especially for heavier riders. I'd always recommend going with at least a 600 watt version. You get a lot more punch. They now even have 800 watt versions, which I heard are insanely fast and really powerful. Hills aren't a problem. They just scoot along great. Now the new model I really want to get is the Ultra Elite Proline V3S. Looks awesome. Now this thing looks killer. It has some type of new battery technology, which is supposed to push out a lot more torque for hills. Now this thing has quicker recharge times, which take about three hours versus the traditional four hours and longer run times. And by longer run times, I'm talking about like 18 miles on a charge, which you could actually commute to work on. Oh, I'm gonna have to get one. Oh man, sometimes I just uh, can't even sleep at night knowing all the cool stuff that's coming out. It's just overwhelming. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the electric skateboard. Summer is here. If you're looking for a fun and easy way to get around, I highly recommend electric skateboards. You might want to do some research. I know uh, different models and brands have coming out and coming out have come out in the past years, and uh, some might be better than others. But I highly recommend altered electric skateboards. I've had a few of them over the years. 
they've given me zero trouble. Now, even for taking girls out, a lot of my past girlfriends have loved electric skateboards versus traditional skateboarding. Just trying to get them on a normal skateboard, it just ain't gonna happen. Probably for the same reasons like me, they don't wanna fall. But tell them it's an electric skateboard and all they gotta do is pull their little finger for, uh, for gas, they're all over it. But then buying two of them can get a little expensive if you're looking about probably a thousand bucks, so you might wanna just let her ride the electric skateboard. You can run next to her, or not run, running's not fun. Uh, ride a bike or rollerblade or something like that. Now, do you guys consider electric skateboarding to be cheating? Are they not even in the same league as traditional skateboarding? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please become a subscriber if you haven't already. Many more gadget review videos to come in the coming weeks. I hope you all have a good weekend. I'm out.